after doing my research, I've come up with tangible evidence that Raila Amolo Odinga is not going to get the AU chairmanship. After these countries have declared that they are not going to vote for Raila Amolo Odinga due to the following reason. These are the countries that have said they are not going to vote for Raila Amolo Odinga after Kenya endorsed them and East African countries already endorsed Raila Amolo Odinga. These are the countries. Eritrea. Eritrea, they are 50-50. You know very well that Eritrea is a country that is bordering Djibouti and they are declared they are not going to support Djibouti after the border conflict between them and Djibouti and how they, are be, they have been mis mistreated by Djibouti. That is the reason why they have said that they are not going to support Djibouti this time, but they are going to support Kenya. Do you think that Djibouti is going to win the AU chairmanship or is it Kenya? The competition is between those two countries. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for the support. Thanks so much for the love. God bless you. God bless you. On our today story, we want to talk about Raila Amolo Odinga and the AU competition. Do you think that Raila Amolo Odinga is going to clinch the position of chairmanship in the AU? You know very well that we have got 54 countries voting for the person who is going to be the AU chairmanship on February next year. Do you think that Raila Amolo Odinga is going to clinch that position? For me, after doing tangible results, I've come up with an evidence that Raila Amolo Odinga is not going to clinch this position. Take it to the bank. This is after this tangible evidence going through the internet, going through the papers, I've come up with a tangible evidence that Raila Amolo Odinga is going to lose terribly in the AU seat. Mark this day. Mark this day. Record this video. On February, it's going to act as witness the reason why Raila Amolo Odinga is, going to, is not going to clinch the AU position. You know very well that Raila Amolo Odinga is a candidate in Kenya, and Kenya believe in Raila Amolo Odinga. Raila Amolo Odinga has vied for president five times, and he has lose in all. Raila Amolo Odinga is being loved in Kenya for bringing democracy. That is the reason why Raila Amolo Odinga is surely loved in Kenya due to the democracy. You can talk whatever that you want, you can say. As you know very well that Raila Amolo Odinga is competing in the AU chairmanship. Do you think that Raila Amolo Odinga is going to clinch that position? That is my question. Do you think that Raila Amolo Odinga is going to clinch that position for the AU position? After doing my research, I've come up with tangible evidence that Raila Amolo Odinga is not going to get the AU chairmanship. After these countries have declared that they are not going to vote for Raila Amolo Odinga due to the following reason. These are the countries that have said they are not going to vote for Raila Amolo Odinga after Kenya endorsed them and East African countries already endorsed Raila Amolo Odinga. These are the countries. Number one is Ethiopia. You know very well that Ethiopia, Ethiopia is, uh, borders Djibouti and they have said that Djibouti helps them with so many things, so many things they got from Djibouti, even through the border, because Ethiopia is a landlocked country. So they get so many things from Djibouti, so they cannot vote for Raila Amolo Odinga. They know very well that if Djibouti wins the AU chairmanship, they are going to get so many benefits from that thing that they are talking about. Okay, the other country that I've declared they're not going to vote for Raila Amolo Odinga is Egypt. Egypt, I've said that they're not going to vote for Raila Amolo Odinga. They are going to support Djibouti. The other country is Sudan. You know very well that Southern Sudan president was in Kenya and he endorsed Raila Amolo Odinga for the AU chairmanship. But Sudan, who is the president, is Omar. I've said that he's not going to vote for Raila Amolo Odinga for the AU chairmanship. In that, he's going to support Djibouti because Djibouti is bordering Sudan and they are going to support uh, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Djibouti. The third country is Congo. The reason why Congo have said that they are not going to support Raila Amolo Odinga, you know very well that the soldiers, uh, the Kenyan soldiers went to Congo to fight the M23 rebel gang. 
but they went there. They didn't even do a single thing in Congo. They didn't help Congo in anything. So Congo decided to chase away the soldiers that were the Kenyan soldiers that were in Congo. That is the reason why the president of Congo, Felix Tshisekedi, have said that he's not going to support Raila Amolo Odinga after Kenya police failed in their mission to rescue Congo from the M23 rebels. The other country is Angola. Angola have said that they are going to support Djibouti in this uh, EU chairmanship. They are going to support Djibouti because they are going to get so many things in Djibouti after they have supported Djibouti. So, Joa Lorenzo, Reurenko, the president of Angola, have said that he's going to support Djibouti. Botswana, it's very hard for Botswana to support Kenya because Botswana is near Djibouti and they know very well that if they support the Djibouti they are going to get so many so many things from Djibouti after they clinch the AU chairmanship. The other country is Eswani. Eswani you know very well is a small country, small country headed by Muswati 3. It's very sad and it's very hard to hear that Eswani is going to support Djibouti. The other country is Lesotho. The president of Lesotho with Sam Matekane. Sam Matekane have declared his support on Djibouti and his arrest assured that Djibouti is going to clinch the AU chairmanship. The other country is Algeria. Teubone, who is the president of Algeria, have declared support on Djibouti and he has said that Djibouti is going to win the AU chairmanship. Take it to the bank. Okay, the other country is Benin. Benin have said that they, um, uh, they have declared their support to Djibouti. The other country is Burundi. Burundi, they are neutral. You know very well that the time that Raila Amolo Odinga was being declared in the AU chairmanship, Burundi was there. The president of Burundi was Everest. The president of Burundi said that he's going to support Raila Amolo Odinga. And in the meantime, they have also said that they are going to support Djibouti. So they are just neutral. They don't know whom to support. They don't know at what time are they going to support. Which country are they going to support? The other country is Cameroon. Cameroon, Paul Bia. Paul Bia have declared support and he said that he's going to support Djibouti. That is what is happening. The other country is Chad, is General Mahat. General Mahat have said that he's going to support Djibouti. And they Saresh assured that Djibouti is going to clinch that position. The other country is Gambia. Gambia have said that they are going to support Djibouti. Djibouti itself is going to support Djibouti once again. Ismail Omar declared his support for Djibouti. Equatorial Guinea said that they are going to support Djibouti. Eritrea. Eritrea, they are 50-50. You know very well that Eritrea is a country that is bordering Djibouti and they declare that they're not going to support Djibouti after the border conflicts between them and Djibouti and how they, are be, they have been mis mistreated by Djibouti. That is the reason why they have said that they are not going to support Djibouti this time, but they are going to support Kenya. We are going to talk about that in our next episode. The other country is Gabon. Gabon have said that they are going to support Djibouti. Central Africa Republic, they are going to support Djibouti. Cote d'Ivoire have declared their support to the Djibouti. Okay, that are the country that have said that are going to support Djibouti in the AU chairmanship. They have declared their support to Djibouti. My question for me, is, for you, to you is that, do you think that Djibouti is going to win the AU chairmanship or is it Kenya? The competition is between those two countries, Djibouti and Kenya. Which country do you think that is going to clinch the AU chairmanship come next year on February? Which country do you think? As we know that the competition is between two. And that is the reason why Raila Molo Odinga is going to lose the AU chairmanship. Because in, in Africa we have got 54 countries. They, uh, we have got, uh, uh, back then we got 55 countries but where one decided to, to get out of Africa. That is Morocco. So right now we have got 54 countries and both of them, they are in the AU chairmanship. They are in the AU. And the head of states are the people that usually elect the person that is going to be the head of AU chairmanship. 
My question for me today is that, do you think that Djibouti is going to clinch the AU chairmanship or what is going to happen? What do you think? That is my question. That after reading those country, it's a rest assured that Djibouti is going to defeat Kenya because so many countries have come out and they have declared their support towards Djibouti. On our next episode, we are going to talk if Raila Amolo Odinga is going to clinch this AU chairmanship and which country are supporting Raila Amolo Odinga. Let's meet next time. I've been your host, Jeff Otieno. Until next time, we say game over.